you're that weird guy I saw on the street lamp. <laughs> oh, I saw this thing once where uh, apparently people used to do what I did when I look out the side of the car as a passenger and uh, imagine someone was running outside the same pace the car was moving. In my case, obviously, I was pretending it was Sonic the Hedgehog doing it. But yeah. If, imagine, if you will, you look out the passenger side of your car and you imagine someone riding, just running down the side of the road. Like either running or on a skateboard or rollerblades. I'm sure it may have occurred to you to try that. I don't know why that exactly happens. Maybe something in our subconscious tells us that when we're running around, we think of... I guess it's like if you imagine a friend or just anyone around you and you think they're just going at the same pace you are. If someone has some kind of scientific thing about that, let me know. Maybe it's a lost evolutionary secret. Here's another route with dudes. They could open the doors and you would never know. This this door formation is very silly. What You know, it's not that packed with enemies this level. It's again relying on weird design to trick you into flubbing. But that's okay, I appreciate a good flub every now and then. It's just not gonna work. I'm better than the flubolas in their flubloids. The Flemoids. Oh wait, that's Chex's Quest. Yes. Yes. Would Gaming Wolf do an LP of Chex's Quest? N no I mean, there's actually some Chex's Quest... There's a Chex's Quest bo uh, level campaign for z -Doob, I might do. But... It's not gonna ha I mean, it's, it's pretty much just a Doom Total conversion, as in it's just pretty much Doom with different... You know, coat of paint. So there isn't really a reason for me to not do Chex Quest. But it's even more of a of a direct replacement than Heretic is. Like down to the left like I guess with the exception of like the Flemoid being like the wall that one enemy or something. It is pretty it's a pretty one to one approximation in Chex Quest. Let's just say that. Anyway, no, no. No, the Globoids are just something I just made up with my mouth hole, alright. Well, we got the old wood stove thing. What you cooking there? Maybe you're providing coal for the coal miners union? That you don't have! Let that be a lesson. Make sure they're from Germany and not Austria. Make sure you don't shoot your friend because, you know, it could be... All the European leaders could be related. It's almost as if the European Union thought it was stopping the very thing it already made. You just, yeah, you just go from a bunch of kings and queens being related to a bunch of government leaders being leaders of the countries in one group again. So, really, there was always going to be a European Union, and no one realized that there was just a lot of family fights, and every family fight is what makes a different country and a different language, practically. Even when it wouldn't make sense. Like, um, with Sweden and Norwegian sounding similar, even though they're not. Yeah, I don't know either. Language evolution. Language evolution is weird, man. Makes me wonder how people can speak multiples of it when the difficulty is not in the pronunciation, it's in the grammar. The grammar is where the real trouble begins if you want to speak a new language. And then, of course, understanding, but no, no the grammar is the tough part. You know, this, the, the, um,. The syntax is more important than the actual items to remember, because you can always add more items of vocabulary to something. Well, that's what I'm doing here at Wolf's Toy 3D, talking about that related crap. How are you doing? Looking at the wood paneling. There's a lot of wood today. Hell, the ceiling is made of wood. I'm going to assume it's a Mississippi mud pie. Not anywhere near in Mississippi, except, you know, I don't know if I'd want to live in Mississippi at all. The closest I would get to a Mississippi is a Louisiana. Really? Really, is, is Jacksonville any, any alright? I don't actually know. I suppose it'd be like if I went to, um... Nashville and Tennessee. It'd be like, you only want to go to Nashville. And even then, you don't know. It's like, you know... When Americans settled... I'm, I'm saying, you know... England and such settled is just like, you know, those that stopped without going all the way to the west are just like, well, I guess we're stuck here, you know. 
AKA what happened with people that wanted to go to Oregon, etc. You know, Oregon Trail would make a good stream. In fact, it always does. Take it from me, the Oregon guy. Yeah. It's just fun. Actually, I want to see someone stream the Oregon, the original Oregon Trail game where they have, like, a printer. So it's basically... Basically, it's a little computer, but there's no monitor. The text is just printed as a result of the programming. It's really cool. And, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of things I could say about it, which is mostly me thinking to myself, Hey, I might be talking right now. Wouldn't that be a shame if I couldn't talk, do the talking? Right? So that's how you know I'm not mute, because I want to actually talk. Yeah, whatever that means. And and here here we have the hallway of Hitler's, where we have a picture of Hitler every five feet. Look at that. And they're all the same. I would go in there and paint him, like, different colors. Maybe give him another wig. Uh, you know, have pirate Hitler, space Hitler... A Hitler for every occasion. A Hitler for every home. <laughs> this is the Hitler. This is the Hitler gallery. Oh my God! Seriously, that's the most Hitlers I've seen in one level. We gotta stop this at once. Clearly, the level designer was having a good time. Now, that's okay. So you got enough Hitler on the wall yet? I I don't. I do... Where is this going? Oh. Okay. I guess I'm... Am I just looking for a tiny bit of health? You know, it could be. Or I could be going in this weird direction and going into, like, the cave zone, you know? Because there's... There's caves. Yeah, you don't actually have to go to this cave place. You know. Once you got the yellow key, you're good. So this is this is all this is all hidden shit now. There's like four specifically hidden sectors here, but this is all optional. You don't have to go in this weird ass cave place. I think when I did my original long play, I didn't go in this cave place at all because I'm like, oh yeah, all I was doing was point A to B, you know, with the key and stuff, which caused some amount of problems when I get shot unexpected and be like, yeah, I saved with like 50% health, I'm the best. No, we don't play it like that anymore. We like to be prepared. Which is like prepared, but with more prepared. I hope what I'm hearing in the game is not coming through as a feedback loop. At least I don't think it should. That would be kind of funny. I try to make it purposely not do that by playing it quietly and then like increasing the volume when I'm done. Which may have caused some errors, uh, specifically to the noise cancellation, which I hope it didn't. Oh no, something bled on the walls. Too bad I have no idea what that was. It's like some... I wonder if there's like bone indentation on the wall. Yeah, what is that? With the blood. You see that? It's a weird gray-white thing. And, you know, sometimes milkmen have to go spelunking too, you know. Sometimes we have to deliver the milk. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Why milkmen? And the answer is simple. It's because the liquid that delivers white, obviously. Just like how the UPS man wears brown, because the boxes are brown. It's the same logic. So my advice is if you're a botanist, you should wear green. And if you're an undertaker, you should wear black. See, it works. Dress the color according to your occupation, not only the freaking uh, style. So, in my opinion, nurses should be wearing red in that case, but I guess a red cross, so never mind. We might have a problem there. Or it would be like team uniforms, so it would be like the hospital uniform, the colors they associated with the hospital they're working at. Which would make it like a sports team, and kind of weird. Although that sounds like a fun time. Mod this game so that instead of Nazis, you're fighting like medical professionals and you're an insane patient. That'd be interesting. It's not going to be hard to do. Actually, I think there are some first-person shows that take place in hospitals. Or rather, at some point, take place in a hospital. Not set in a hospital. If there is one, let me know. That'd be a good plot. I'd like to see it. You know, where, the first, where the protagonist is actually just someone out of his mind. Or it's just like... Or it's one of those 28 Days Later plots. Okay, I'm going back. Probably to exit this damn level now. 
Just give me a sec. And we'll make it all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Past the Hall of Hitlers. I love the Hall of Hitlers. <laughs> no, you don't. Although, much respect to Charlie Chaplin, who invented his mustache before Hitler did and had to get rid of it, and was sad, because at least he wasn't wearing a facial swastika. So there's that. So if you ever see someone that looked like Hitler, say they look like Charlie Chaplin instead. Honor that guy. That guy was cool. Alright, that does it for this level. When I see you next time, let me look. Let me look. Over here. Oh, I guess next time it's more bullshit. Sorry, don't know how to describe that. It just looks like shit. See ya.